Artists tend to show their understanding of the world on canvas or paper, using oil, ink, or even chalk. But one Chinese painter is using a more unique medium: fish bones. Let's take a closer look. In Lin Haibing's hands, the bones discarded by diners are turned into elaborate landscapes and works of art at a gallery in the coastal city of Xiamen, in East China's Fujian Province. Born in the neighboring city of Zhangzhou in 1964, Lin later moved to Xiamen. After graduating from an Arts and Crafts Institute in 1989, he began to explore a method of arranging fish bones to make art. This very early, I was drawn to this fish bone. I get a special feeling with fish bones. They are beautiful, with shapes like the strokes used in ancient Chinese calligraphy, which is primitive and elegant. Lin is now the curator of the Oriental Fish Bone Gallery, the first of its kind in the country, located on Gulangyu Island, a popular tourist attraction. Established in April 2006. The gallery now exhibits more than 100 works of fishbone art, which were selected by Lin from over 1,000 of his own creations. I've been studying fishbone art for about 23 years. I think there are enough bones to completely fill up the truck. Lin never throws away his fish bones after meals, using them for his artwork instead. He often spends a large amount of money buying rare fish in order to get distinctive bones. He has even been known to collect food waste from restaurants, hotels, and residential communities in order to get his bones. Before he creates his works, he has to clean, whiten, embalm, and dry the fish bones, which vary greatly in shape and color. It takes dozens of steps to turn fish bones into art. I have to get rid of the flesh, degrease the bone, and sterilize it. Lin's art has attracted interest from a growing number of people. In recent years, Lin has changed his style from landscape paintings to artwork that reflects environmental problems, including air, river, and sea pollution. But despite his fast-growing reputation, he worries that there will be nobody to continue his work. So, a pen, ink. I really need to find more apprentices. I can't promote the art form all by myself. I have recruited ten people on the internet. <laughs> Lin said he has recruited students in the past, but all of them left because they didn't want to spend a long time studying a new art form that wasn't likely to bring them much income. He said he dreams of building an oceanic cultural art exhibition in the future to introduce oceanic knowledge, fishing culture, and fishbone art to people around the world.